Hello, everybody, and welcome to the United Wrestling Network. I am Dustin Starr. Today, the NWA World Heavyweight title is on the line in our main event when the champion Adam Pierce defends against Willie Mack with Colt Boom Boom Cabana as special guest referee. Plus, Navajo Warriors in action against Nick Madrid and Rico Dynamite faces Rashi Brown. It's the United Wrestling Network, and it is bell time. contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Redondo Beach, California, weighing in at 225 pounds, Rico Dynamite. Rico Dynamite heading to the ring. He's going to have to be explosive tonight, gentlemen. He has got quite a force coming out to face him in a few short. But wait just a minute. What in the world is the champion doing out here? Get the hell out of my way. <laughs> Get out of there, Angelo Trinidad. I want to apologize to you, Rico. I have nothing against you, but I got something very important to say. If you people sit down and shut up. I'm here to cry injustice because I just found out the NWA Board of Directors has ordered me to defend the World's Heavyweight Championship against Willie Mack. I don't care if you people cheer or not. I've already beaten Willie Mack. I beat him fair and square. And you people flat out don't deserve another main event from me. That's right. You people should get on your feet and bow in reverence before greatness because I am the Scrap Daddy. Oh, wait a minute. That music mean only one thing. Who told Plummy to play the music? It's okay, Adam. It's okay, Mr. Pierce. Oh. Well, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, the champion, coming out here. He's got that fedora on like he's Freddy Krueger or something. Tell you what, he's been a nightmare for our format. And now I think he's going to uh, let discretion be the better part of valor as soon as Rashi Brown comes out here. Yeah, Adam Pierce, I mean, he came out here, said what he needs to say, and he's going to go back and he's going to prepare for his big main event tonight against William Mack. Uh, look at Adam Pierce now backpedaling because he knows deep down inside Rashi Brown. Look at the size of this man. He's been running through everybody every time we've seen him out here. Adam Pierce looks scared if you ask me. But look at Adam Pierce's his hat. Opponent, so neat. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 270 pounds, Skull Crusher, Rashi Brown. Rashi Brown is a beast. I talk about nightmares. This guy is what childhood nightmares are all about. The beast beneath your bed, in your closet, in your head. They got nothing on this guy. And as big as he is, he's just as agile. The guy is an amazing athlete. He's unbelievable. Listen, everybody, he, he's undefeated. Let's, let's just put it out there. He is undefeated. And until we see somebody put this man to the test, he's going to remain a constant threat for the world championship. I would have to agree with you there, Stu, but one man who does not seem intimidated, at least in the early going, is Rico Dynamite. The man's a competitor, and look at that, switching positions there on Rashi Brown. Definitely Rico Dynamite comes from old school fundamentals. And you never shake your opponent's hand in the beginning because they can always, uh, you know, pull them out of their hat or something like that. Big man picking up steam here, ducking under. Oh! And he leaves his feet, absolutely launches himself at Dynamite. Oh, look out here. That's a long way to fall off of that huge frame of Rashi Brown. Oh, screw vertical suplex into the cover. Is that going to be it? No. Rico Dynamite, he's not diffused yet. Wow. I may have just uh, let the three count go there. I, I'd be heading for the back. I was staring across at Rashi Brown. 
Rashi Brown now all over Rico Dynamite in the corner, looking to follow up. What an impressive suplex that was earlier on. And now Rico, <laughs> look at that, takes the big man off his feet. Impressive. First time we've seen the big man off his feet thus far here at NWA Championship Rico's Wrestling. Rico's over the pin, there you go. Very impressive right now uh, for Rico Dynamite to be the man that's taking him off his feet. Yeah, incredible to do it with a single shot like Dynamite did. And if, if Rico can keep him on the mat here, we're all the, you're all the same size when you're on that mat. That nullifies that vertical base, the size and strength advantage of Rashi Brown if, if, he, if uh, Rico can keep him horizontal instead of vertical. I mean, when you're facing a runaway tractor like the Skull Crusher, Rashi Brown, what can you possibly do other than that, James Morgan? Just keep, stay on him. He's so, so big, my goodness. Yeah, fans, keep your mouth shut. Well, you saw momentarily ago, Dynamite went for the eye rank. That's a weak point in any man. So really trying to attack any potential weakness. There aren't many of them on Rashi oh. Brown, but wow. He's gonna be wearing another tattoo after that shot. Oh, that was right in the neck. I think I just saw the sternum of Rico Dynamite go up into the rafters here at the Galaxy. Come on, Rico, fight back. But to Rico's credit, he's doing just that. He's fighting back. Rico's gonna have to find a way to get Rashi Brown back on the mat. Rico Dynamite very well adept on the mat at grappling. We've seen him use that Rico death clinch. He's gotten a lot of wins by submission. Oh, wow, no. he's got him up. Is he gonna slam him? Wow, yes. wow this so is strong. crazy. I am shocked at what I'm seeing right here. Very impressive show of strength there by Rico Dynamite. Now springs up. Can he catch him? Oh, oh my goodness. What, what, what? He slipped on the rope. I think he hurt his head. I think he hurt his head. And Rashi Brown is looking at, at the same thing we're all looking at. What the hell was that? Oh! Whoa! I can tell you what that was. Wow, sending him on a one-way trip to Spear City. Give me a break. Unbelievable impact there by Rashi. Well, light up that fire. Yeah, Things it, are getting hot it's because over. it could be time what for the burning up? hammer. Must come down. Oh. Count to a million. The veteran. Here is your winner, Skull Crusher, Rashi Brown. You see the veteran, Rashi Brown, <laughs> winning like a veteran should. Hey, take nothing away from Rico Dynamite. He gave it everything he had. He tested Rashi Brown. He took him further than we've seen anybody be able to do here at the Galaxy, but just too much power, too much force, too much intensity by that man. The Skull Crusher, Rashi Brown. Wow. Are you having trouble hearing your TV or listening to conversations in loud spaces? Then it might be time to consider Nano Hearing Aids. The days of expensive hearing aids are over. Don't mistake Nanos for cheap amplifiers. Nanos are FDA registered OTC hearing aids. They are lightweight and simple to use and their tiny in-ear design makes them nearly invisible. And best of all, they are rechargeable, saving you hundreds of dollars on batteries. Don't be fooled by overpriced hearing aids. Prescription hearing aids could cost $3,000 or more. Nano hearing aids are only $397. But wait, we are so confident you are going to love your nanos we are offering $100 off through this special TV offer order now and you'll get two nano CIC rechargeable hearing aids for only $297 you get a free portable charging case free 24 7 lifetime telephone support free shipping and a 45 day money back guarantee remember nano hearing aids are not available in stores or Amazon and supplies are limited call 1-800-884-3540 do you use Viagra or Cialis what if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. As you can see behind me, we are back on NWA Championship Wrestling. I'm Johnny Laquasto. The next colossal KDOC television taping is going to be Wednesday night, December 8th, from the Showcase Theater in Hollywood, featuring the hottest free agent in professional wrestling, A-double Austin Aries. Well, Mr. La Laquasto, 
Am I pronouncing that correctly? La- you, perfect, sir. La- ben- Benissimo. Is that Italian? I don't know. Why don't you put the mic in front of my mouth? I think they want to hear me talk, not you. Right. Laquasto. I appreciate the compliment, saying that I'm the hottest free agent. You're not so bad looking yourself, minus this double-breasted suit of yours. That went out of style about eh, 15 years ago. Now, you should tell them why should they be there December 8th at the Showcase Theater in La Brea. Why? It's NWA. It's the best you can get. Okay. Why else should they be there? To see A-double Austin Aries in action. You're getting warmer. On December 8th, Showcase Theater in La Brea, you get a chance to see the greatest man that ever lived. You get to see a man who's traveled the world and held championships everywhere he's gone. And it might be your only chance, because I am the hottest free agent, so it might be the only time I'm ever there. So you want to line up, and line up early. But let me tell you one place I'm not going to be, December 8th. Well, I'm the spectacular vascular vegetarian, so I guarantee you I will not be at Pink's Hot Dogs. A man of health, a man of incredible words, a man of incredible physique, double A, A A-double, Austin Aries will be there Wednesday, December 8th at the... Yes, sir. Don't ever speak to me like that again. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. This is David Marquez. The war has escalated over the NWA Heritage Tag Team titles. Over the past few weeks, you've seen the Rock Ness Monsters retain their championships against all comers, including former World's Tag Team Champions Los Luchas and Natural Selection. These matches have been fierce and hard hitting. In fact, Natural Selection tried to claim victory once over the Rock Ness Monsters, only to be overruled by the official. We've been told that the Natural Selection has contacted their advisor, the boss, Percy Pringle, and they have asked for a three-way non-title match next week with Los Luchas and the Rock Ness Monsters. I could only imagine what Cage and Ricker are up to. I guess we'll find out next week. Bienvenido, público bonito. Somos los luchas, Zocre. Y tu padre, Phoenix Star. ¿Saben qué? Para la otra semana tenemos a The Natural Selection y Rockness Monsters. Pero eso no es lo que me está importando a mí. Lo que me importa es esa, esa, esa caja que estuvo enfrente de nosotros, que es una sorpresa. A lo mejor es el premio mayor. ¿Será el premio mayor? Es lo único que queremos. Diles, pareja. Prepárense. Uh, training started when I was coming to school because one of my teachers knew I liked wrestling a lot and he said, you'd be good at it. So we went online, found the wrestling school locally around California and I went there when I was 14 and been training ever since. So I said I was going, I made it a go. I said I'm going to graduate high school first. Then once I get my diploma, I continue on with wrestling fully. Uh, background growing up is kind of rough. I was in foster care, got emancipated, and uh, uh, it's been tough. Been going from place to place, but finally I'm with my pops now, helping him out. And he's supported me throughout this wrestling thing, so as long as I got him behind my back and my family, anything can go. The toughest thing about me and wrestling is my living situation trying to figure out if like I'm gonna have a place to stay when I get back home because I'm staying with Pops right now and like he's old man so I know if he goes that'll probably be kind of tough for me but as long as I got him around and hopefully I have some other people around helping me I'm gonna keep doing this until I'm old man hopefully (laughs) I will be world champion and I can do it I got the will I got a lot of people behind me and I know deep down inside that I got what it takes to take that world championship and make it my own. Adam Pierce is a good fighting champion and he's been the champion three times. And three times to become champion, you gotta be good at the sport. But one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Adam Pierce a favor because I know his luggage is kind of heavy. So I'm gonna take that 10 pounds of gold and put it in my luggage and make it a little bit heavy and he won't have to worry about it no more. The biggest reason for my success so far is that I know that I have a mother who's in heaven right now who loves me and she's been following me the whole way through. She died when I was 14 going through this wrestling training so I know she's up there looking down at me and pushing me along the way every step she can so 
half of this, what I'm doing is for her and myself, so just trying to make her proud. You think you're doing her proud? I know I'm doing her proud. She's probably looking down on me, smiling like, wow, he come from the ghetto, little kid, nobody said he'll do anything in special education classes, going around the U.S. traveling, making yourself known, and you my little boy just growing up. It's a good feeling. Yeah, it is. Hi, friends. Richard Karn here. Now, I'm known as the guy who can fix just about anything, but the technology in most appliances requires very special training to fix. And that's why my family has Choice Home Warranty. Choice Home Warranty covers over 25 major home systems and appliances. That's your AC, heating, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances, and so much more. Imagine for less than a cup of coffee a day, Choice Home Warranty can help protect you from expensive major system and appliance breakdowns that your homeowner's insurance doesn't cover. Call Choice Home Warranty now and get access to a nationwide network of over 15,000 technicians and the latest appointment setting technology so you'll know when they're on their way. So do what this old DIYer did and call Choice Home Warranty now before something breaks down. Get protection for your heating, AC, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances and more. Call for your free quote today. Call in the next five minutes and get your first month free. 800-983-9567. 800-983-9567. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to bruxnightguard.com and order yours today. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Navajo Nation, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Navajo Warrior. The Navajo Warrior representing the tribe, representing the Navajo Nation. Our first opportunity to see the Wiley veteran in singles competition. He and his partner, Hawaiian Lion, have been disqualified twice in recent competition with Brandon Parker and Todd Chandler. You know, they're, they're just trying to prove a point here in the NWA, that's for sure. I don't blame them. They're fighting hard. And his opponent from Albuquerque, New Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Nick Madrid. And the youngster, Nick Madrid, all kinds of fired up as he always is. And gentlemen, he really does impress me. This kid has a lot of heart and he is always ready to take a fight. I'll definitely have to admit, Nick Madrid at the beginning, he, he wasn't even on my radar, but wow, I mean, he's really been and fighting hard and, and coming into his own, really. Nick Madrid is a youngster, he's in his rookie year, he's been wrestling now for six or seven months. To see him in the ring with the Warrior tonight, this has got to be a big, big, big accomplishment and a big, big, big match for him. If you've he, got a win over Navajo Warrior, wow, that would just shoot him right to the top of the NWA. Wow. Navajo Warrior now unloading, that's what brought him to that dance, the war dance, if you will, those big overhand chops and a nice arm drag wow. takedown again second or third time that the youngster has gotten the, the veteran down. So far, Nick Madrid may be out wrestling the veteran here in this matchup. Looking very impressive is Nick, uh, Nick Madrid. Oh. Too much power there by the Navajo Warrior though, charges him in and a double chop and down goes Madrid. The ring just moved about three feet, Todd uh, Kenley. <laughs> Certainly seemed to shift there, Stu Stone. A lot of velocity there by the big man, but will Navajo Warrior get a notch in the wind column, is he gonna play by the rules today? They always play by the rules. You know what, the NWA, they're just being overlooked by the NWA is what's really happening tonight. And you know, Nick Madrid, he has a, you know, a Lucha Libre uh, background and, and love for professional wrestling and Lucha Libre. And that's tonight what he's needed to do is dig down deep, find some Lucha Libre moves because it looks like Navajo Warrior is taking this match. 
Well, I gotta agree with you there. Nick Madrid's gonna have to do exactly what he's doing right now. Create some sort of distance where he can stick and move. But a slam again by Navajo Warrior. Drops down the big elbow at 280 pounds. Driving down on Madrid, but unable to secure the three count. I mean, a safe enough distance from uh, the Navajo Warrior would be in the back. Probably right there, Stu Stone. <laughs> Another big chop there by Navajo Warrior. He can hit you. From at, all angles with those. Look at Nick Madrid. He's even still on his feet. That's that's. I, wow. I'm double impressed. chop. Well, now now to his knees. <laughs> the kid has a lot of fight in him. Really been impressed with what I've seen out of this youngster. He's been in there with some very tough competition. He's always ready to there battle. You go. Nice drop kick there. Sends Navajo Warrior into the corner. Can Madrid follow up? Oh, hold on. If he would have gone up and over, that may have been yet another disqualification. They're just, they're just so tough, the tribe. <laughs> Whoa! Madrid uh -oh. trying to come up with a roll up and a cover, and he does. A little unorthodox there, but he kind of almost got the job done. And trying to keep Navajo Warrior on his toes, looking for the tornado DDT. Oh my goodness. Reverse he, there. He calls that running of the bulls, but uh, it looks like uh, Nick Madrid didn't uh, quite make it there, huh? Yeah, running of the bulls. He was in there on the. He was out on the plains with a giant buffalo there. It Let's didn't see. work out When for you're him. Nick Madrid, your game plan for this match is to take chances, and I gotta give him credit, he just took a chance. Unfortunately, it didn't work out there. There's a big chop to the head. Oh, hold on here. Awakening the spirits. The elders looking on, full head of steam. Oh. Navajo Nation knee there in the corner. Tracks him out in the center of the ring. Is that gonna be it? Yeah. Yes. Get Nick Madrid and aspirin. Here is your winner, the Navajo Warrior. Oh, the Navajo Warrior going on the hunt, and he gathers another victory here tonight. Nick Madrid will be back again. Trust me on that. Our broadcast colleague, David Marquez, making his way to the ring. He's going to have a word, it seems, with the victorious Navajo Warrior. OK, Navajo Warrior, I understand that you believe the tribe, yourself, and Hawaiian Lion are being ignored here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Ignored? That's an understatement. The only time anyone in the NWA pays any attention to the tribe is when they want to levy fines and threaten suspensions against us. Right now, as we speak, Olivia is down at NWA headquarters fighting this. That's why she's not here in our corner tonight. Hawaiian Lions got another match tonight. And you know what? We're here. We made a statement before. We're going to make a bigger, even bigger statement now. Just wait and see, because it's coming. Heavy, heavy words from the Navajo Warrior. Let's see what happens in the tag team division here in NWA Pro Wrestling. We'll be back right after this. Are you having trouble hearing your TV? or listening to conversations in loud spaces, then it might be time to consider Nano Hearing Aids. The days of expensive hearing aids are over. Don't mistake Nanos for cheap amplifiers. Nanos are FDA registered OTC hearing aids. They are lightweight and simple to use, and their tiny in-ear design makes them nearly invisible. And best of all, they are rechargeable, saving you hundreds of dollars on batteries. Don't be fooled by overpriced hearing aids. Prescription hearing aids could cost $3,000 or more. Nano hearing aids are only $397 but wait, we are so confident you are going to love your Nanos, we are offering $100 off through this special TV offer. Order now and you'll get two Nano CIC rechargeable hearing aids for only $297. You get a free portable charging case, free 24-7 lifetime telephone support, free shipping, and a 45-day money-back guarantee. Remember, Nano hearing aids are not available in stores or Amazon, and supplies are limited. Call 1-800-884-3540. Hi, friends. Richard Karn here. Now, I'm known as the guy who can fix just about anything, but the technology in most appliances requires very special training to fix. And that's why my family has Choice Home Warranty. Choice Home Warranty covers over 25 major home systems and appliances. That's your AC, heating, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances, and so much more. Imagine for less than a cup of coffee a day, Choice Home Warranty can help protect you from expensive major system and appliance breakdowns that your homeowner's insurance doesn't cover. Call Choice Home Warranty now and get access to a nationwide network of over 15,000 technicians and the latest appointment setting technology so you'll know when they're on their way. So, 
Do what this old DIYer did and call Choice Home Warranty now before something breaks down. Get protection for your heating, AC, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances and more. Call for your free quote today. Call in the next five minutes and get your first month free. 800-983-9567. Well, the rock superstar Joey Chaos, you know, he comes from, he's Guatemalan Mexican descent, you know. Um, what I like to do is I came up actually the hard way. Um, I didn't have the luxury of having a professional wrestling trainer. Um, I did everything the wrong way. Um, I had to claw and teeth my way just to break into this business. Um, now that I'm here in the NWA, you know, my focus is really on the 10 pounds of gold. My focus is on being the champion and to teach everyone, show everyone that didn't want to let me into this business, show them really what I can do, what I can bring to the table. Definitely, I have to say, my break was uh, wrestling uh, for the infamous XPW, Extreme Pro Wrestling. Um, I kind of traded water there for about a year and a half, uh, went to the powers that be over at XPW, uh, told them that, you know what, I have a lot to bring to this table, just like I'm telling you right here in the NWA. And uh, they gave me a shot. Um, really, my biggest break was being the 18-month television champion, carrying that belt, um, bringing and defeating all, all comers. You know what? I'm looking for competition here in the NWA. That's why Joey Chaos is coming here to the NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. You know, um, I am the rock superstar Chaos. Uh, NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood is a place where I need to be, and it's a place where I'm going to shine. You know what? That's not any of your concern to worry about why I attacked Joey Ryan, why we attacked Joey Ryan. Let me, let me ask you something. You work for Joey Ryan? Huh? You Joey Ryan's buddy? You know what? Let Joey Ryan worry about why the rock superstar Chaos helped out Peter Avalon in his match. And let Joey Ryan think about, think about every step that he took. Why? Let him ask himself, why, Lord? Why? Why did Joey Chaos attack me? You know? He's going to ask himself, do I got beef with Joey Chaos? I don't know. Maybe he's just a little chicken. So... You just sit there and you just let Joey Ryan worry about why I attacked Joey Ryan. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something. Joey Ryan is going to have a lot of answering to do when I step in the ring with him. Because what I gave him was a little taste, a little taste of what the rock superstar chaos is all about. And you know what? When I step in the ring with him, he's going to know, simply put, why I am simply the best. You guys might notice that I'm wearing a little different apparel than usual. Instead of the spandex, baby oil, and lycra, I'm doing the black and white stripes of the referee outfit. Because tonight I'm going to be the head official. The NWA Heavyweight Championship match, Willie Mack versus Adam Pierce. See, Adam, when we had our NWA Heavyweight Championship match, things weren't exactly fair. So now, I'm going to make it fair for Willie Mack to get a great opportunity, something I didn't get against you. And finally, we'll have a fair NWA Heavyweight Championship match. Thanks to me, Colt Cabana, at official. Known for its glitz, known for its glamour, but nothing shines brighter than the 10 pounds of leather and gold held by that man, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. There he is, the world's heavyweight champion, doing what he does best, defending the title. The challenger tonight, of course, a Hollywood favorite, an LA favorite, Willie Mack. My, my question right now is, can Cole Cabana, can he call this match right down the middle? going to be interesting to see. Obviously, these two have a volatile history. We'll remember, Cole Cabana came so close to winning the World Heavyweight title. It's probably taken a lot for Cole Cabana just to be standing this close to Adam Pierce without unloading on that man's face. Here comes the challenger. This 
This man oh. has fans, Todd Kenley. Tell you what, many have come and many have fallen by the wayside. Many have attempted to take that title away from Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Is it this man's destiny, Willie Mack? I mentioned at the top of the hour, rags to riches. There you see him making the symbol of the title around his waist. Is this his night to make history? Hey, Willie Mack is a man who used to ride buses as a kid three, four hours just to see wrestling shows. This is a kid that has fought his way over the years to being in this spot right now, the main event fighting for the world's heavyweight championship. I give him all the credit in the world. Hi, friends. Richard Karn here. Now, I'm known as the guy who can fix just about anything, but the technology in most appliances requires very special training to fix. And that's why my family has Choice Home Warranty. Choice Home Warranty covers over 25 major home systems and appliances. That's your AC, heating, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances, and so much more. Imagine for less than a cup of coffee a day, Choice Home Warranty can help protect you from expensive major system and appliance breakdowns that your homeowner's insurance doesn't cover. Call Choice Home Warranty now and get access to a nationwide network of over 15,000 technicians and the latest appointment setting technology so you'll know when they're on their way. So do what this old DIYer did and call Choice Home Warranty now before something breaks down. Get protection for your heating, AC, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances and more. Call for your free quote today. Call in the next five minutes and get your first month free. 800-983-9567. 800-983-9567. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to bruxnightguard.com and order yours today. for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. The special guest referee for this contest, Colt Boom Boom Cabana. Introducing first the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing at 285 pounds, Willie. He knows sign language too. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. This is Scrap Iron Adam. I'm appalled at these fans. They need to stand and show respect for the world's champion, Adam Pierce. I'm appalled at you, James Morgan, for how much butt you kiss around here when it comes to Scrap Daddy, Adam Pierce. Leave me alone. Here you see Colt Boom Boom Cabana now checking out the challenger. Wow, making what sure that he's concealing no weapons. He's fit for battle. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Come on, Boom Boom. So much history between these two. Touched on it, and you said it, Stu. It's, it's got to be tough for Cabana to not a let his, not let his emotions get the best of him. He's here to officiate this matchup, and he needs to focus solely on that. Can he do it? You know, I hope he can. I've talked to Colt before or earlier in the back. I, you know, Colt's one of my very good friends here. Uh, you know, Colt promised me that he would call it down the middle. I tend to believe this man when he talks. He's not James Morgan. James, I have a question, though, for you. Championship match, title on the line. If you're Willie Mack, what do you do to prepare for this match against Scrap Iron? Well, my daddy always told me to drink more water. And tonight, I think Willie Mack, he needs to stay hydrated. He needs to come prepared. He needs to hit the gym. Well, look at that, that big old belly. I don't think he's even thinking one thing about that. But tonight, he needs to pull out all stops and even think he's coming against Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. You know what? Don't let appearances fool you. You don't judge a book by his cover. I seem to remember a certain son of a plumber who won the World Heavyweight title, the NWA World Heavyweight title. And I can see, really, 
a lot of parallels between the champion Adam Pearce and Hall of Famer Nature Boy Ric Flair. And I can also see a lot of similarities between Willie Mack and the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. He is a man of the people. If you will. Well, Willie Mack definitely trying to get the crowd behind him. Not a bad call here. You want to get into the champ's head right now. You want him thinking about anything except, well, what we're used to seeing, him breaking the rules. Letting Willie Mack know exactly what he thinks about him. Probably true as well. Fans here at the Galaxy making their voices heard again, folks. A lot of trash talking going on here, Todd. Title on the line, the atmosphere amazing. We're so privileged to bring you this great action, this championship matchup, but folks, there's nothing like being here live. Oh, wait a minute. Hey! Willie Mack off to a quick start. A little flip flop and fly there. Hey, we talked about the American dream. There you go. Gotta think Cole Cabana likes that as well. That is pure power there by Willie Mack. It certainly was. Well, he strained his back just to get the world champ over his shoulders like that. My goodness. Cole Cabana, get in there. Get Willie Mack off the champ. Hey, Cole Cabana doing nothing wrong thus far. Yeah, that's the other thing. That really, the officiating is going to be an X factor here because, oh, oh, wow, incredible clothesline there. Cabana being a competitor himself. Hold on, here's the cover. Is Cabana being a competitor himself? Will he maybe allow a little bit more physicality than, say, a normal official would? Well, hey. you know, oh, geez, you know, you, pol you polish a turd, it's still a turd. And speaking of turds, Colt Boom Boom Cabana, just because he's wearing a referee shirt doesn't mean he's going to be able to call this match like he should. Hey, turd is the only thing coming out of your mouth right now. Colt Cabana is going to do the right thing. He always does. And now Willie Mack doing the right thing, hammering on the champ in the corner. Hold on, wind it up and let it fly. Yes, the crowd here at the Galaxy counting in unison. They're going to tear this place down. They might just tear the ring down, it oh sounds like. Jeez. What's going Fans on here in Hollywood can count. Big whoop. Come on, Adam, just get up, back up. Get that fan out of there. We are talking about the officiating. I, for one, think, you know, Cole Cabana was the victim of yet another shady circumstance, the low blow into the pile driver. So he's going to be looking to stop those type of tactics, you got to think. Come on, Boom Boom, give him the timeout that he's requesting. He's a world champ. He gets what he wants. By the way, low blow pile driver. That's what you need to look for in every Adam Pierce match. This guy, he cheats to win. That's all he's good at. Are you having trouble hearing your TV or listening to conversations in loud spaces? Then it might be time to consider Nano Hearing Aids. The days of expensive hearing aids are over. Don't mistake Nanos for cheap amplifiers. Nanos are FDA registered OTC hearing aids. They are lightweight and simple to use and their tiny in-ear design makes them nearly invisible. And best of all, they are rechargeable, saving you hundreds of dollars on batteries. Don't be fooled by overpriced hearing aids. Prescription hearing aids could cost $3,000 or more. Nano hearing aids are only $397, but wait, we are so confident you are going to love your nanos, we are offering $100 off through this special TV offer. Order now and you'll get two nano CIC rechargeable hearing aids for only $297. You get a free portable charging case, free 24-7 lifetime telephone support, free shipping, and a 45-day money-back guarantee. Remember, nano hearing aids are not available in stores or Amazon, and supplies are limited. Call one 800 884 35 Hi friends, Richard Karn here. Now I'm known as the guy who can fix just about anything, but the technology in most appliances requires very special training to fix. And that's why my family has Choice Home Warranty. Choice Home Warranty covers over 25 major home systems and appliances. That's your AC, heating, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances, and so much more. Imagine for less than a cup of coffee a day, Choice Home Warranty can help protect you from expensive major system and appliance breakdowns that your homeowner's insurance doesn't cover. Call Choice Home Warranty now and get access to a nationwide network of over 15,000 technicians and the latest appointment setting technology so you'll know when they're on their way. So do what this old DIYer did and call Choice Home Warranty now before something breaks down. Get protection for your heating, AC, plumbing, kitchen and laundry appliances and more. Call for your free quote today. Call in the next five minutes and get your first month free. 800-983-9567. 800-983-9567.
to cover now by Willie Mack, looking to make history here tonight. Counted two, and again, that's part of what makes the champion so tough to defeat. You've got that champion's advantage. You have to be pinned, forced to submit. It's not the other way around, and Adam Pierce is his expert at taking advantage of that. He's been reading James Morgan's book. <laughs> oh! oh! Willie Mack is too big to be doing stuff like that. He really knows how to get that big body moving outside to the inside with the drop kick to the midsection. 300 pounds of drop kick. Again, the agility of this big man is amazing. Cole Cabana so far not a factor here. He's been calling the action right down the middle. No fast counts here, James. You can't say nothing about this. Well, he's the head. He didn't give him the timeout he requested. In my opinion, Cole Cabana should go home. Well, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce in the fetal position was holding on to that bottom rope, symbolically holding on to his title. It's in jeopardy in our main event. Wow. Come on, Adam. Nothing's in jeopardy because Adam Pierce, he could just stay on the outside. And if Colt Boom Boom Cabana could count right, geez, then he, we, can all, we can all go home and Adam Pierce is trying the 10 pounds of leather and gold and go on home. Well, we talked about it, the champion's advantage. Pierce is trying. He's trying to get counted out. He certainly is. He's trying to save this title. He knows he can't beat this man one-on-one -on -one tonight. It's just not his night. Oh, but look at that. Hey! Wow! Shoulder thrust on the outside. Willie Mack took the champion off his feet. Oh! oh. I'm surprised he can get off his feet being so big. He's oh. got to get the champion back inside the ring, however, and try. And that's what he's doing right now. For the pinfall. It's the only way to win the title. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> almost slow with the count there. That's about ring awareness from the champ, guys. Yep, the champion knows where he is at all times. Again, didn't have to exert the energy to kick out because he could simply reach out, grab that bottom rope. I mean, it, it, do you think that Cole, oh, there you go. <laughs> Typical Adam Pierce right there. What's the psychology here for Cole Cabana? I mean, James, what do you, uh oh, here we go. This oh, here you see it. Right here. Yeah, this thing's heating up, gentlemen. No kidding. Oh my goodness. Cole Boom Boom should stay out of the way of the champ. Pierce now dropping down oh. all of his body weight. That was nasty. Down on the challenger. And, and, and that's the other thing, Stu, is, is Pierce maybe going to get into it with Cabana, knowing that Cabana might fire back. This match could get thrown out, and again, Pierce walks away the champion. you got to think it's inevitable that it's going to happen. I mean, I'm surprised that it hasn't happened already. You know, I hate to say it. As much as I hate the guy, you almost love to hate the guy. Adam Pierce putting on a clinic here. I mean, really, Willie Mack is a guy that's been putting 110% into this match, and Pierce looks like he's got the advantage. And if, oh. if the match is standing right now, Pierce may have it on points. Unfortunately, we don't score by a point system here in the NWA. Well, James, it's tough enough to try and out-wrestle and out-fight the champion, but it's damn near impossible to out-think the man. Exactly. He's a thinking man's wrestler. <laughs> you, you, I couldn't say it any better, Todd Kenley. Well, Adam Pierce, just the standard of excellence here tonight, guys. <laughs> the champion mocking the challenger. He's got everything going his way right now. Oh! Right to the small of the back. Both men are down. What? Guys, I, I just get word that Scorpio Sky's been attacked backstage. Oh, I, I wonder who could have done this. All right, we're gonna we're trying to get a camera back there. Let's. Take a look at this. Surrounded by officials in the midst of a NWA World Heavyweight title match. What happened here? I don't get it. Who are, who are doing this to Scorpio Sky? Well, we're trying to get some sort of update on Sky. He's not moving. He is laid out. But back to live action here as the title is on the line. Here comes Pierce with a big time splash in the corner. The story here is definitely in the ring. Unfortunately for Scorpio Sky in the back, he's laid out. But Willie Mack looking to win the World Heavyweight title here. Cole Cabana, special referee. Big scoop and a slam there by Willie Mack. And the challenger back in the driver's seat. Here we go. Going to drop the leg. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Willie Mack. <laughs> he's so dumb. He 
He's gonna hook the leg, and that's what have possibly won him the championship belt. But he's not so smart, guys, because Adam Pierce, he's the man. Hey. This one to no one, James. Hey. hey, if Colt Cabana was gonna screw over Adam Pierce, you would have seen it happen. I think James Morgan, you owe the, the, the viewers an apology. You owe Colt Cabana an apology. This man's calling it down the middle. <laughs> Where is Willie Mack going? He just showed he's got some serious hops with that big leg drop, but now the big man is going up top looking to put him away. <laughs> what happened Pierce there? just tripped up Cabana, causing Cabana to oh, run into the ropes. Oh, here, this here could be it. Side, gentlemen. Come on, Colts. He needs to be impartial here, guys. Wow. There's so many factors in this championship matchup. So many things that could oh, just oh happen goodness. here. What, what is the champion doing? Don't tell me he's gonna go for a Hurricane Rana here. I've never seen this side of Adam Pierce before. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! No! The momentum took the challenger through! The challenger's on his feet! Hooks him no! up! T-bone suplex! Look at Cabana edging him on! No! History about Two. to be made here in the galaxy! No! Oh. We almost had a new champion there. Adam Pierce is so resilient. Even when he has two guys in the ring that are against him. Oh. T-bone suplex, and I thought he was gonna make off with the main course and take the title, but Pierce, he saves his title, at least for the moment. You have a way with words, Todd Kinley. I gotta give you that. Unbelievable, back to square one now. Both men fatigued. They're leaving it all inside that squared circle. And folks, would you expect anything less with the title on the line? Willie Mack's been training. He knows what he wants. He wants the World Heavyweight ch uh, Championship. And oh, no. Wow. Runs into a big elbow there. This match is going into deep water. You would think maybe Whoa. Samoan dropped there by Willie Mack. And somehow he gets oh. up. Standing moonsault. Are you kidding me? No. Kick out. Oh. 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 It does not get closer than that. James Morgan, I can't believe what I'm seeing out of Willie Mack. You know, you thought maybe as this match weared on, conditioning would become a factor. But my goodness. Can adrenaline do wonders? That's for sure. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Willie Mack Chan here at the Galaxy Theater. These people want to see it. I want to see it. The people at home want to see it. The people watching online at NWAHollywood.com want to see it. We want to see Willie Mack pin the champ tonight. All right, look at the champion begging off. He's had enough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, don't worry, Adam Pierce, of what these guys are talking about. Wow, don't worry. It's, it's okay, Adam. It's okay, Adam. It's okay, Adam. Don't worry about it. The champion begging off. Give it to him, Willie. Yeah, Put it's, him a, away. it's a gentleman and a scholar. Like that. Come on, Willie Mac. He's not shaking his hand. What a loser. Hey, Willie's he's studied his film. He knows what this man is capable of. It's a little late in the match for this kind of shenanigans. Hey! Yeah, what the five fingers say to this to the face there? He's slap. Slap, that's right. Oh my goodness. Come on, Cabana. Wow, it's a slugfest now, gentlemen. Anybody's contest at this point. Yeah, both men so fatigued here. Oh, Anything can happen. Come on. Champion. Hey! Over the top rope. Come on, Cabana! Yeah, but it wasn't an intentional over the top throw. It was, it was as a result of a clothesline strike and Cabana not going for the belt. I mean, you're going you to would clarify this rule for, for James Morgan, for the people walking at home. A clothesline over the top is okay. Certainly in, in Cabana's view, that it was just the momentum over the top was caused by the strike. It was not an intentional throw. I got to believe that's what Boom Boom is thinking here. The match continues. Like it or not, James. Yeah, but you know what? What Boom Boom is thinking right now is how he's going to be able to screw Adam Pierce again. Oh, here on. We go. Cabana now on the outside. He does not want to see Pierce just head for the hells and take the count out. Here's where uh, the Cabana factor is going to come into play, James Morgan. Let's see what happens here. Come on, Adam Pierce. Don't listen to Colt Cabana. This is ridiculous. Gentlemen, this is precisely what we talked about. Hold on here. We have Referee some sort of Cole announcement. Cabana has declared that if Adam Pierce gets a. Well, I guess he just did. The referee's word is final. You know, this whole matchup, we talked about the championship advantage, and now Cabana has taken that away. Well, it's a whole new ball game here. Wow. 
Cabana is supposed to stay in the ring and be an official, not be on the outside and be a spectator. Willie Mack trying to get back to his feet. The great crowd here at the Galaxy urging him on. And now, hey! <laughs> wow, this has been one of the craziest title matches I have ever seen. Look at and this, the, guys. The champion hasn't won the match yet, but he's got the goal. Wait a minute! It's supposed to be impartial, Cole. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. oh, my goodness. He, he just spit right in the man's hey! face. Hey! Come on, here's the cover. Two. Two. Oh. Oh. Look at that, you guys. I, I knew it. I knew it. Boom, boom. He's not supposed to be doing stuff like that. Shades oh. of Roberto Alomar there. And now Pierce using the referee as a weapon. Oh, yeah. And Adam, out. Adam Pierce just knocks out Cabana with the world heavyweight title. That's no way for a champion to act. Now he takes out Willie Mack and he's all over the, he's all over this Cabana. This is disgusting. Let's get some help from the back. This is disgusting. This is what should be happening. Hold boom, boom, Cabana. He, he shouldn't be doing anything oh, like that. He, he didn't come oh down here and goodness. call it like he's supposed to. This Adam is, Pierce is so upset with him right now. This is absolute mayhem. I'll tell you guys, this is an abuse of power by this, the champion. That's all it is. Here. There needs to be a suspension even. You cannot do this to an official. I don't care if there's bad blood. Referee so Scorpio Sky attacked in the back, and now this. Referee Chris Massey calling for the bell. <laughs> Willie Mack got screwed. What else is new? Adam Pierce, screw job. Who has it lately that's competed for that title? This is ridiculous. Getting, Something needs to be done. It's getting to be redundant. It's getting to be despicable. It is Ladies disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, the referees have thrown out this match. It is declared no contest. No contest. What a joke. <laughs> and think, think of the years of adversity. All the bumps in the road for Willie Mack. He finally gets his shot, and this is how it ends. Screw. Give me a break. Yeah. But that's because Colt Boom Boom Cabana didn't do oh, his job. Shut up, James Morgan. You are an idiot right now. You know as well as I do, as well as Todd does. Still, the NWA yeah, World right Heavyweight Champion, uh, Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. What a load of BS. And simply put, that is all Pierce cares about. He wanted to hear that official word. He doesn't care how he did it. The ends justify the means in his mind. <laughs> that's right. And it, it, that's all that matters, guys. That's all that matters, that Adam Pierce goes home with the 10 pounds of leather and gold. I'll tell you what, another chapter in the Colt Cabana Adam Pierce rivalry, a rivalry, I should say, has been written here tonight. Well, the reign of the Machiavellian <laughs> oh, world no. champion continues. The title reign and the reign of terror. Unbelievable. They gotta do something about this. This is ridiculous. Oh, somebody stop this guy. <laughs> Don't put your hands on the world champion, Strap Iron Adam Pierce. I hate to go off the air on a bad note like this. Obsessed with power and obsessed with the title, the champion as unstoppable as ever, folks. We'll see you next week. Unreal. Disgusting.